Morning everyone, this is Marshy, doing a little bit for West Ham Fan TV. Unfortunately, my interview after last night's game wasn't able to be uploaded due to some technical and audio difficulties. However, kindly enough, Ryan and the boys have asked me to um, record a little video for you guys, um, explaining my views and opinions, what I thought of the game last night. To be totally honest, I've never seen us defend like that for as long as I care to remember. I think everyone was resolute. I thought we showed some real qualities. Um, on the night, Fabianski was superb. Countless saves yet again for seven million seems to be turning out right still. Um, Diop again, the second half tackle alone was well worthy of winning any game. Um, doesn't matter what you say. To be honest, I think Zabaleta was superb, and as for Declan Rice, you know I think that's why we need to understandably tie the kid down to a long-term deal because he's obviously West Ham through and through as we all are, and uh, he's shown that quality in his performance again last night. So hopefully that's being recognised across the board and uh, the club can get that one sorted and finalised as soon as possible. Um, I think we seem to, I think we dealt with the, with the Leicester threats really well. I mean, when Vardy came on at half time, and I think when Damari Gray um, was substituted on as well, I think obviously we know they're attacking prowess, we know what they're um, well capable of doing, and we seem to defend them really well. I think it was just unfortunate at the end the way that the you know deflected goal came about. Um, obviously, unfortunately, Fabianski was rooted to the spot, unable to do a lot due to that deflection. Um, we even could have won it at the end, to be honest. I think, unfortunately, it fell to Ogbonna when he could have rolled it across. I'm not sure who it was now. Um, next to him on the left there, I can't remember, but we might have had a little bit more luck and then gone away with three points as opposed to one. Um, it was nice to see us creating chances still. I think Antonio come on and uh, he, he bossed it. He obviously come on with a, with a plan of what he was told to do and he seemed to fulfil that really well. Um, for the time that he was on, could have nicked a couple himself. Um, was less greedy at times as well. Um, so that was a positive to see. I think we just need to take as many positives out of this one as we can. You know, we know what Leicester are capable of. Um, they've won the league. You know, you don't do that about showing, you know, resilience and uh, playing as a unit. So it's a, it's a difficult place to go. I think we knew that um, in previous years. You know, obviously last season, last game of last season, um, we won 2 0. We got a draw as well um, with the year that Leicester won the league. Um, so it's not been a, a bad ground to go to, but it's also not been easy, although no games are easy in this league. So I think we've got to take away the point. I think we've got to take away the positives. Um, as I say, unfortunately, we're not coming away of all three, but then such is life. And uh, that's the sort of goal that you may argue that we do concede. Maybe not necessarily as, as big a deflection as what it was, but you know, I think the goal you could see was coming and we'd have done remarkably well to come away with a three. But um, the way that we defended, how resolute we were, you know, the communication, everyone willing to work for each other, you could clearly see that bodies were knackered and, uh, and bollocksed, you know, but... Uh, that's part and parcel of what you get when you're willing to fight for a club and it was good to see that passion and grit and desire to, to keep stepping in and uh, keep stepping it up where possible. I think a point last night wasn't the worst result in the world. I think seven from the next nine available, you know, including last night at Leicester, you know, we've got a point. If we can get the three points at home to Burnley away to Huddersfield um, to get seven out of nine potentially, I think we'd all have your arm off, to be honest, because... Uh, I was definitely one going into last night's game, not really expecting, but to come away with something was obviously an added bonus. And uh, like you say, we need to take the positives out of it and push on now. Um, hopefully we can do that, you know, cement the place in the Carabao Cup quarter final. You know, we've got a massive chance in order to do that. And then hopefully if we can do that, push on and show that same commitment and desire to uh, beat Burnley in the way to Huddersfield as well. Um, so let's just see what we can do. Let's push it on. You know, it's, um, I say, a bit exciting times. It was just good to see us show a bit of passion and grit last night. Um, also, as we all know, of course, the uh, helicopter crash um, at the ground last night. I feel myself uh, remarkably fortunate to be coming home to my family. I've got a little boy on the way. Um, shows how lucky that we are. That shouldn't be happening to anyone at all. Um, you know, so basically, I think it's fair to say that uh, thoughts and prayers are with everyone at Leicester City. I think I'll speak on behalf of a lot of people in saying that. Hopefully things are not too bad. Um, the footballing community are with you. Um, obviously West Ham United are with you as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can we can push on now and uh, start picking up some more points. Cheers.